and today's gratuitous food shot is Karaage! Hi guys, today's video is covering turning this into this. Not bad if I may say so myself. What, what's that? You want to know about this behind me? Well, don't worry when I do a video about this whole room, that'll be a big part of it. Today though is just another relatively short video about uh, the garden gate. So yeah, alongside the big ugly tool shed that we covered in the last video, the other thing that I really didn't like very much about the garden was this iron gate. It's never quite closed properly, uh, the previous owners had done a very uh, slapdash job with the paint which was flaking off and showing the rust underneath, and yet even if it had functioned super well and been painted impeccably, it would still have been a pretty ugly little gate. So since scheduling conflicts have meant that the interior redesign has ground to a halt for a while, and I still had some of the budget I set aside for this like initial wave of renovations, I decided it was time to do something about that gate. So I contacted Chris, another member of this building and renovating a house in Japan uh, Facebook group. I'd seen he'd done some impressive carpentry projects before, including this deck with a hole for a tree in it that I really liked. So I decided to contact him, he was available, and he came around to build this gate for me. And yeah, unlike with the interior renovation, I wasn't really pitching in all that much. It was really mostly Chris who did all the work on this. So before meeting, I sent him a few pictures of the kind of thing I wanted. In Japan, it's quite common to see these really big, beautiful gates with giant roofs with kawara, traditional tiles on them. I, of course, only had a small space, so I couldn't make anything quite that ostentatious. And uh, I wanted it to be a little bit modern as well. So I sent him a few pictures of the kind of things that uh, I thought might look good there. Plus I already had this roof which was meant for my little uh, swing chair. It was meant to be fixed on the top of the frame but it would have totally blocked the light from the window and looked a bit strange so I decided not to include it. Partly I'd ordered that one with the roof because I thought if I don't use it here I could possibly use it for a, a kind of Japanese style gate. You know that's why I bought it. And yeah, we decided basically to go for a simple frame with two cross beams and then the roof. On day one, he came with pretty much all the materials already bought, but we did do a little home center run for things we needed, like uh, the, the appropriate screws, some way to uh, attach the, the big columns to the existing uh, iron posts, which we weren't gonna dig out and get rid of. But, and of course a good finish for the wood to keep it nice and waterproof. So on the first day, he made a big frame, which was pretty impressive to look at. It was, you know, quite a lot bigger than I had pictured it in my head. He worked really hard with these big pieces of wood to put together this simple frame, and basically all I did was help him to put it into place and, you know, hold it steady a couple of times. On day two, though, I made a small contribution. It was raining most of the day, so Chris didn't come over. Um, but I'd been looking at this work in progress, and it was really bothering me that the, the roof wasn't wide enough. You know, there was only so wide it could possibly be for the space, but it not being the widest point on the gate, or even wider than the, 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 the two columns, just it didn't look right to me, it looked stubby. So I decided to take some of the floorboards we'd ripped up from this room, they were still in pretty good condition. But also had some mahogany finish that was meant for this room, but it was too red and I didn't like the colour of it, so that was going spare. Now I appreciate that this might look like I'm painting this in the blood of my enemies, but this is supposed to be mahogany brown. So basically, yeah, I painted the planks with it and then fastened them to the top of the roof, extending it somewhat and making it look a whole lot better in my opinion. One thing we also both thought was that the uh, cross beams were a little bit far apart. It looked like something was meant to be there, which gave me the idea of getting a ranma to put there. On day three, Chris came back again and worked a long day finishing everything up. The big challenge, of course, was getting the doors done. Again, we went for quite a simple design, but very much influenced by that traditional Japanese style of architecture. Straight lines and various vertical slats, although not enough to give privacy. I actually want people to be able to look into the garden somewhat. Yeah, effectively, the gate was complete, structurally at least. On day four, my task was to paint it. Just as I was getting prepared to do that though, the Ranma arrived. It had only been two days since I ordered it, so that was pretty impressive speed. Really nice. 
So yeah, I set about adapting it for the space. Now this rammer was fairly low quality and inexpensive, but if you feel very offended about someone cutting up this work of cultural art, please look away now. I had to do a bit more cutting and adapting than I thought I'd have to because uh, my original plan would have had the, the main picture part just held on by these thin lattices, which I, I don't think it would have held up in a typhoon really. So I adapted my plans and I think it looks pretty good now, even if I then had to add the lattice work bit by bit. Personally though, I'm delighted by how it ended up looking. Then with that in place, it was time to start painting. I decided it would be most eye-catching if most of the frame was the dark colour that we got the stain for, but that the slats were lighter, much more like the natural wood. So I started with those using the uh, stain that I had for the, for the shed project, and then continuing with the dark wood finish. And I must say this finish that I picked out with Chris's help was absolutely perfect for the job. It was just the right colour and it went on so easily. But honestly, I forgot to mix it together, so there were some parts that were a lot lighter, and then towards the end, it got a lot darker, but I think it looks just fine. Midway through painting, I was unfortunately interrupted by a brief thunderstorm. Nuts, it started raining just as I was getting to the good bit. But it was still light by the time it ended, so I could get out there and finish up with no problem. Now it's pretty much finished. There are still a few details here and there. I might uh, put on another coat of finish if I feel like it needs it. And there are some, some parts on the slats in the middle in particular where I got some of the darker paint that I might tidy up. Uh, I've ordered a couple of little handles for it because I think it, it feels a bit incomplete without them. But yeah, otherwise I've got this rather ostentatious new gate that I kind of love. Obviously we'll have to see how it holds up in high winds and typhoons, but it feels very sturdy, even the rammer that I put in. I think it'll be just fine. Okay, and that's all I have to say about that. Until next time, bye-bye.